Hey guys, what's going on? Fishing Plague here. And today we're going to talk about swim jigs for pre-spawn and spawning during the spring and the whole time during spring. And we're also going to talk about modifying your swim trailers for your, uh, your swim jigs and how to effectively modify it to make it more action or to give it a realistic look. And we're also going to talk, talk to about uh, how to give it more of a better action, more uh, sense to the bass where they're going to want to hit it. So I'm going to go through uh, three different types of swim jigs that I own. And I uh, we're going to talk about paddle tail and subwoofer tail trailers today. So let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we have a Bluegill Flash by Bass Pro Shops. It's a uh, 3 8 ounce swim jig. The Bass Pro Shops enticer. I have on it a Berkeley Havoc Grass Pig in Watermelon Candy. And for you guys to look at it, let me get the skirt fixed real quick. See the tip of the Grass Pig? I did not trim any of it off. Okay, I did not trim any. Now look at this. See where the hook's at? And see how big the bait is? The bass are going to end up biting right here or just right before the hook. They're going to bite there and they're going to cut your bait in half. So what can we do to fix that problem if it happens? If it doesn't, you're dang lucky because look, what I also do is the barbs. Let me get this screwed out of here. The barbs. Let's see if I can get that. See the barb right here? It does not pass the barb. That's the way I like it because look, it's just going to run past. It's just going to run past. I'm getting hooked because I'm pressing down too hard, but it's just going to run past when it hits something. Before we start going into trimming, the uh, brush guard, what you want to do is find one that's uh, fill, fill in with your confidence. Find one that is sturdy enough and find one that's flimsy enough to where if something hits it, it's just going to bounce off, and if something hits it, it's not going to snag. So you want something in between, like this, just going on by. See, I'm not pressing down too hard, so it makes me embarrass myself. But these are fine. I always trim them down to the barb because if it's too long, the bass are going to hit it and they're less likely to get hooked. One way, one thing you can also do if you don't trim your brush guard, bend your hook up. Bend it upward. That way it has a better chance of a hookup ratio. So let's get in to trimming the trailer and how to make your problem of bass biting it in half fixed. Alright, so we got our trailer here. I took it off the jig. As you guys can see, I'm going to lay it right here. Lay it right there. <laughs> Alright, so we got our trailer right here. Okay, let me move my plano box. Our trailer right here. The hook came out right here. Now if you look closely at the detail, See this curve right here? That's the gill of a fish if it were a live bait. Okay? What we're going to do is if it came out right there, we're going to move the distance from here, right here, we're going to move it to here. That way, you got from here to here, you got this left on. So basically, you got this much left. And we're going to cut that off to make it a smaller fish. Because if you're bait fish, you're bluegill, or for say, you're shad, if you're shad, you're bluegill, you're sunfish, you're bait fish, whatever you're fishing, whatever's in your lake, or your pond, or your creek, whatever you fish at, whatever the bait fish is, match the hatch. Uh, so, if your bait fish are small, you want to trim your... Uh, trailer. If your bait fish are big, don't worry about it. If you can, I've, I've heard it be done before. I haven't seen it, but I would like to try it and I have like to see it on YouTube. I have not seen it before, but people are putting trailer hooks on jigs and running it through the plastic. So you're losing your plastic less often and you're catching bass way more. But you also have that critical chance of losing your jig because of that extra swinging tra uh, trailer hook. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to trim off the head and we're going to put it on the, uh, 
the jig and we're going to look at it. Okay? So our trailer, our skirt is that long. And it's going to look like this is what it looks like right now. What it looks like right now. So if we trim it off, it's going to be this long. It's a better chance to get hooked up. So what we're going to do. So you got scissors. All right? We're simply just going to cut straight up. So now we got a dummy head. We don't need that anymore. Throw it away. Now we got a flat shed. Okay? Flat head shed. We're going to rig it up the same. As you guys can see, if I can get it right. It's going to look something like that. Fits perfectly against the head. I'm trying to match up where I want to pull the hook out. I got the skirt messed up in there. Hold on. Now look at that. Small shad small bait fish bass is going to bite it when you feel a bite wait at least about a second before you go to set the hook because when you set the hook you don't want to make sure that you rip the bait rip it in half if the bass bit this give it a second if it bit the body give it a second to hit that if you don't feel it try setting the hook if you don't feel it tough luck I'm sorry uh, but this is a cool tactic to overcome the swim jig in pre-spawn and spawn season during spring. If you guys want to see more tactics on different kind of baits, let me know. Uh, also, check out my hard bait modification video. It covers treble hooks and split rings. Uh, if you guys want to know more questions about it, if there's something I didn't answer in the video, go ahead and comment. I will always respond. Uh, one thing though, people that comment on here, it seems I'm a new channel, I understand that people want to get each other's support, they comment and they say, hey I just subscribed to you or hey if you subscribe to me I'll subscribe to you, I'm not going to really pay attention to those comments, I mean yeah if I like what I see I'll subscribe and say hey thanks for the subscribe, don't worry about subscribing to me, but the thing is people are just hungry for subscribers, it's like let your channel flow. If you don't get subscribers, try changing what you're doing. Try asking the viewers how you can make it different and more appealing to them. And that's what I'm going to ask you. If you guys think I can do something better, or if you guys have ideas for my videos, let me know. Just know that all my videos are running off of my phone, and I can't do a camera right now until I can get a job, get my car, get my license, and uh, get enough money to even buy a GoPro and that's my goal is a $400 GoPro, a GoPro Hero 4. So let me know what you guys think of this tactic. It's really really good. I'm definitely gonna do it. I'm excited. I can't wait to throw this. So leave a comment, like what you see, or leave a like if you like what you see. <laughs> Don't listen to me. But subscribe if you want more and hey Get fishing plague. See you next soon.